Next year, voters will decide on who will lead this state in the next four, possibly eight years. That'll be the 2023 gubernatorial election. Governor John Bell Edwards is term limited, he, uh, so he will not be running. There are a number of big names who are vying for that seat. Most recently, Senator John Kennedy announced he's strongly considering getting in the race. Shortly after announcing his interest yesterday, he released a poll that was taken right after last week's election. It showed him with a majority of support in Louisiana for governor in a potential nine candidate field. Uh, we were, we told you about that uh, uh, early on the Eyewitness Morning News yesterday. This morning, we are looking deeper into uh, Senator Kennedy's possible campaign, what it could look like in a big list of names. Also, a number of other issues going on right now with the midterms. Political analyst Dr. Ed Shervinak from UNO is uh, in with more on that. And first of all, were you surprised by the announcement just like a couple of days after he won? Uh, I think a lot of it came down to who's going to control the Senate. And once that Democrats basically were going to control the Senate, that I think that influences thinking in terms of this is maybe what I want to do. Rather than being a minority member and being one of a hundred in the Senate, you can be, you have a good opportunity to be governor of the state. And there are a lot of names who have, who have uh, a lot of people who have talked about running. The only announced, formally announced candidate is uh, Jeff Landry, and he's already gotten the support of the Republican Party, which kind of puts everybody else on a, a weird footing. It is kind of weird that they endorse so quickly. Uh, you know, usually you wait and to see who wants to run for the nomination and then get together and decide who you want to endorse. Uh, you know, but it was done behind closed doors, backroom type deal, so it looks kind of suspicious. Um, and, you know, we also have to realize that, that party endorsements necessarily aren't a game changer. We've seen previous candidates get endorsements and lose badly. And, you know, the state party doesn't decide who's going to run under their label. It'll be voters who will decide. Yeah. And so the only time endorsement is worth it is if you win. And Kennedy's fellow uh, uh, senator, uh, uh, Bill Cassidy had also talked about the possibility of running, or at least his name has been thrown around. Uh, I wonder if this changes his opinion. Uh, well, you have to ask him, but I would assume that he, have a, he would have a much more difficult road to the governorship than, than John Kennedy does that. Uh, because John, Louisiana being such a red state. Uh, yeah, that Kennedy, you know, la last two elections he's received over 60 percent of the vote, so we, we know that he can he can cruise to uh, an easy election if, if he's you know faced with weak candidates, whereas Cassidy uh, has angered the, the Trump voters um, yeah. by you know voting for impeachment, and so he, he would have to build a coalition across partisan lines, and that would be much more difficult than Kennedy just kind of take, using that base and then expanding it. And, and we have an open primary system, of course, so it'll be Democrats and Republicans. Who are some of the other uh, faces, Republican and Democrat, that? that could be big contenders? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I think the biggest contender would be the Lieutenant Governor, Billy Nungesser, uh, very well known, uh, great retail politician. Well, he said last night he was not gonna make a decision until after the new year. Yeah, he, you know, he said that he's gonna run a poll and see what, what happens. Um, but uh, I think that he's probably less likely to run now that Kenny has almost decided to get in. We don't really know now. So I think a lot of people's thinking is gonna be influenced on what Kennedy does. If he decides to run, that means several people will decide not to run if he decides, yeah, I'm not going to do this, then it's game on, everyone's yeah. going to run. And the Democrats have been looking for somebody to put up in, put up in that race. Uh, A lot of names have been thrown out. Yeah. You know, the, the Democrats at this point uh, are just in the wilderness in this state. Uh, you know, much like the Republicans were when the Democrats completely controlled the state, uh, Democrats today really don't have incredible candidates who can win statewide. It seems like they're struggling to, you know, to raise money, to build their organization, uh, and to find candidates who can run against Republicans. And let's look at national politics quickly, because uh, the, the, the election results, especially in midterms, this was a really odd midterm, especially with a uh, president who has such low approval ratings and uh, a struggling economy. Uh, this was kind of a repudiation on election deniers. Absolutely. Um, the, the last election denier lost last evening, Carrie Lake in Arizona, um, who she's been called a mini Trump. She's, you know, basically parrots everything that the president, the former president has to say. So uh, that means voters were, were looking at ch a choice, that they looked at this election as a choice, not a referendum. Yeah, and and what, do you, what do you think it means if, if Trump does announce tonight that he's running for 2024, it's going to throw chaos into the party. 
We're probably looking at a civil war in the Republican Party during the, the nomination process, during that primary. And, you know, that's not good because you need to be united if you want to take back the presidency. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're being challenged in the primary and you're duking it out and you're, you know, leaving blood on the floor, that leaves you in a weaker position in the general election. Well, and it's hard to get a name for uh, Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSanctimonious. <laughs> so that's, who, <clears throat> that's the former president's probably primary challenger. Uh, and that uh, DeSantis did very well in Florida. Yeah. He basically moved that state into the Republican column. It's no longer considered to be a swing state and, anymore. And, and let's talk about the, the House real quick because it looks like the Republicans will take control. Yes. Uh, Steve Scalise is running for leader. He will likely get that, that job. He is very well liked in the party. Uh, Kevin McCarthy might have a harder time getting to be Speaker of the House. Yes, uh, you know, he's considered to be more of a moderate, um, and it's this Freedom Caucus, which is a very right-wing uh, portion of the Republican Party in the House uh, who does not trust Kevin McCarthy. And so they're not going to basically, they're basically saying, we're not going to vote for you unless, right, you do what we would like you to do, right. where they're going to want to extract some promises, primarily for investigations of the Biden administration. But, but Scalise is leader of the Republican Party, the, the House, uh, yes. uh, uh, could be very good for Louisiana. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Ed, all right, thank you for coming in. We appreciate uh, Thanks your, for having your thoughts on all this. Let's get over to